sorry for himself and I'm sure that's just part of the act and the hype that goes with uh, world title boxing a very heavily muscled Oliver McCall 29 years old as indeed is the reigning champion Lennox Lewis from Great Britain it's been said that Lennox Lewis really hasn't achieved the sort of popularity in this country that he would have wished for but certainly there's no lack of support here for him tonight here in the Wembley Arena. Lennox Lewis, Lennox Claudius Lewis, born in West Ham on the 2nd of September 1965, comes in for the fourth defence of his WBC heavyweight title. WBC is from Mexico, Jose Guadalupe Garcia. The first of what's scheduled for 12 rounds of World Heavyweight Championship Boxing, the WBC title. The man, the taller of the two, Lennox Lewis, the champion making his fourth defense of the title he won in perhaps some uh, controversial circumstances, but he's defended successfully three times. And Oliver, the atomic bull, McCall, who's in the black trunks with the gold trim down the side, is expected to be a very worthy challenger. Lewis coming in at exactly 17 stones and McCall 16 and a half stones and just about a quarter of a pound and Lewis some three inches taller has a considerable reach advantage but McCall has been in with a lot of very good opponents including Tony Tucker the man against whom Lewis made his very first defense in Las Vegas in May of 1993 the last time Lewis was in this ring was to defeat Gary Mason for the uh, British and European heavyweight titles Gary Mason somewhere at ringside making his comeback and wondering will he ever get to fight at this level again and will indeed he ever get to fight Lennox Lewis so the taller champion Lewis and he really needs a big win he's not still terribly highly rated by pundits across the pond in the United States of America whereas Oliver McCall certainly is rated as number one challenger by the three major governing bodies of world boxing the WBC, the WBA and the IBF and the man who was the former sparring partner for Mike Tyson, Oliver McCall relatively unknown in this country is expected to give Lennox Lewis a very hard fight and if he rips in any more right hands like that to the uh, body of Lewis then those predictions will be completely correct Lewis tends to start very tentatively he did just that in his uh, last title defense against Phil Jackson in Atlantic City in May of this year before getting to grips with the challenger then and winning the fight in the 8th round He does throw a very good right hand, Oliver McCall, and Lewis will have to watch that. He tends to drop his left occasionally. Lewis trying to work behind the jab. That's rather wild by McCall. Perhaps wishes to pressurize the champion to get the fight over with as early as possible. McCall very heavily muscled, very strong, and reckons he's in the best condition of his life. Good right hand, a good slicing right by the champion. And that's the first sign we've seen of that uh, strong punch by Lewis. Well, what an opening first run. And while the Wembley Arena is by no means packed to capacity, there's a tremendous atmosphere. Well, that's Lewis. Uh, a little bit of... Um, work being done just underneath his, his left eye final instruction then to Lennox Lewis an interesting first round with uh, both men letting a little bit go from the armory but there's plenty more still there one suspects and Lewis working again behind that jab he's got very fast hands for a big man very athletic Lewis unbeaten, remember, after 25 fights. Oh, he's got him. Oh, Lewis walked into a right hand. And that was the sucker punch that they worried about. And Lewis staggers. And the referee has uh, decided it's all over. My goodness, what an upset.
and Lennox Lewis's career must now be in tatters. Oliver, the atomic bull McCall, the 29-year-old from Chicago, has stopped Lennox Lewis, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, in the second round. McCall says, I told you so, I told you so, reminiscent of Muhammad Ali three decades ago, and Oliver McCall and his entourage cannot simply believe it themselves. It was a right hand delivered with startling ferocity and startling speed, and Lennox Lewis dropped the left almost imperceptibly and walk straight on to the classic sucker punch and look at the difference in the two corners Lewis cannot believe it and his hopes perhaps of a unification title with Michael Moore a rematch with Riddick Bowe and who knows Mike Tyson expected to come out of prison and a fight in the offing and Lewis simply cannot believe it because at the moment that would all seem to be completely gone pandemonium here in the Wembley Arena and Lennox Lewis counted out with only with less than a minute of the second round gone the crowd can't believe it it was a tremendous punch they hug and Lewis is smiling well his lip is very badly cut and that really was uh, bears testimony to what was a cracking shot and the father of six children the 29 year old from Chicago has done what nobody has ever done before and has stopped Lennox Lewis and what a time to do it the first round, I was throwing a couple of jabs, wanting him to load up with the right hand in. He saw me wanting him to load up with it. He loaded up with it one time, and I missed him with it. I skipped him, but I missed him. But then I said, okay, if I touch him up a little bit, he's going to get desperate. I knew the second round, I knew he was going to load up with the right hand, and I was practicing all day long in practice. I knew it, I was going to roll the right hand, and he's going to be right on my right side. And just come through with a straight right hand, which was a picture, picture, but the it was who got in their right hand first and Oliver McCall got in a great right hand uh, I felt the referee kind of stopped the fight a bit premature uh, I'm heavyweight champion I was heavyweight champion in the world and uh, I should uh, have that respect you've got to pick up the paces and I'm sure you want to do that as soon as possible so even at this stage I mean can you contemplate a fairly quick return to the ring well I, I like to go home and you know this thing can uh, relax for a while before I make that decision yeah. An awful lot was actually riding in this fight. There had been talk of a unification with Michael Moore, the prospect of Mike Tyson coming out, and, and, and I suppose many dreams, uh, certainly if, if not shattered, have been, have been put on hold. Yes, they have. Uh, you know, I may be down, but I wasn't out. I really wanted a hard fight. It, to me, the fight wasn't really getting on because I really didn't get hit, and, and I really wanted to get, actually get hit so I could really pour it on, but it didn't come to that. I'm kind of, it was easier than I thought, but. I take it. I'm going to have some hard fights ahead, and I'm looking forward to them. And as, of course, again, I come out the ring like I always done every fight I ever came through, not going to the hospital, not cut, thank God.